So I wanted to share with you something very powerful. Um, I hadn't spoken about it before, about the fact that evil is what we actually need. It is the tool that as human beings, but more specifically as Jews, because that's our main mission to show the world, that by uh, fighting evil, by transforming evil into good, we are able to uh, connect to God. This is the true purpose of the world, this is the true purpose of the Jew. But the way the Zohar explains it, it's so beautiful. This is this, so it's the in the Pasha Tetzave, um, that's from the Matok Midvash. Um, it's page Kuf Pei Dalet Amud Alef, and uh, page Nun Chet into the Matok Midvash. So, so he says there. He explains the Zohar explains why Hashem brought Israel into the desert. It says that there is it, the desert is the most place is the is the place of. Uh, so the Samech Mem of the, the 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 Satan main place of um, where he he dwells that that's the the place of his this is Mikomo it's his place of dwelling and therefore he brought us in that place and confronting the different forces of evil described as scorpions uh, snakes those four clippers and but the idea he says here. Is kien or ela hayotze mitoch hachoshech that there is no light beside what actually comes out of darkness. Ki ki nishchafa v'nichna hasitcha chara hashochen damidbar al yedei shanu medabrim hanitzotzin kedoshin mitoch hashchos haklipos moti es ba bilam. So he says that when we're able to subdue those forces of evil and take out the sparks of holiness that are hidden within the clippers we and we take them out we are allowed able to elevate the glory the kavod of hashem higher and higher and so i'm skipping a little bit and the so and the, there's no avoda, there's no service of God. The only real service of God, you know what what it is? The perfect service of God is only when we are in a situation of darkness, in a situation of of suffering or or, or, or pain or or at least effort and difficulties. Sorry for the slow reading and translation. Uh, so what are we are saying? We're saying that you know why we do the mitzvahs. I am here to transform myself from my animal to my spiritual. My soul came in my body and the real job that I have is to take my animalistic self and to stretch it. Olam chesed The world is made out of chesed. Chesed means expanding, stretching. It is not comfortable. It is us getting pregnant and then giving birth after nine months. The 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 the, the midbar where well, is it was a is a birth is a birthplace, it's a place of um of process and that, that that's that's that was where they changed they became someone new um the Arizal described the whole process of going out of egypt as the birth process itself but and we know the Hevla moshiach you know the pang birth of moshiach 
what does that all mean? It means that you know what Judaism is? Judaism is giving you 613 tools to go out of your comfort zone. A mitzvah is not supposed to be comfortable. This is one big misconception, I think, that I had, that people might have. I want to live a happy, comfortable life. That's not Judaism. You can live a happy life, but comfortable, be careful. Judaism is the opposite of complacency. Judaism is all about stretching, pushing, uh, 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 expanding. Olam chesed ibane, the world is created for expansion. We know the world for the word for expansion is chesed, and chesed is connected to love, true love. You know, when you love someone, how to love someone? By expanding. You want to love Hashem, you got to expand your boundaries. So we know that all the mitzvot are here to stretch our comfort zone. It's not supposed to be pleasant. What If I do a mitzvah, oh, I love to do a mitzvah, so I'm doing a mitzvah. Then you're not understanding the purpose of mitzvah. The mitzvah is supposed to teach you how to change your behavior, how to do something that before you were not doing, so that you become someone else different. You transform, you evolve, you change, you transform your laziness, your animalistic into something pure and holy. So we are tra talking about transformation. If I'm not transforming myself every day with the mitzvah, if I don't see how the mitzvah, mitzvah changes me, and I only take the mitzvahs that I, that I already feel comfortable with. Already, it's, it's, it's a complete misunderstanding of what my work is, my avoda. Avoda, it means work. The work means you're stretching, stretching, you're changing. So what happens? So this is the secret of suffering, my friends. The suffering can be happy. If I'm doing, let's say I do push-up, I do go, I work out. So I do work and it's pain, is all that, but... I find the pleasure because I know I'm transcending, I'm pushing myself, I know muscle will come out of that and I feel good about it. We know that famous high of the adrenaline of working out. So this is the approach we're supposed to have in our work, especially our work on our character traits, on our mid -dot. So this is So this can come with pleasure, so suffering can come with pleasure, but if I hate... Uh, what I'm doing, I don't see the purpose of what I'm doing, I'm disconnected to what I'm doing, then the push of all that will be hell, it will be like real suffering. So what happened? What does Hashem then bring suffering on top of that? Because this is, it's, it's really, because for me it was always very hard to understand, like what's suffering all about? Basically, suffering is a pill, uh, a pill, you know, like you take a pill, it's a, it's a type of drug that Hashem puts into your life to stretch you out faster than uh, if you had done it on your own or because you didn't do it on your own. So let's say I'm supposed to stretch my, my humility uh, through certain mitzvot with uh, giving honor to others and not being jealous and being humble, not speaking like Shona. So I'm, I'm trying to, but I'm not really working on my humility. So what is Hashem, what is Hashem going to do? He's going to put us in a position where someone is going to insult us or is going to degrade us or we're going to do something shameful and people are going to find out. And all of a sudden, I'm shattered. My, my ego is shattered. And I didn't have to go through that, but Hashem gave me the pill to go to that stage in a much faster way. So, and this is really what Gehinom is. Gehinom is breaking out all your bad midos that you haven't worked on. So you have the choice. You can work on it on your own and you don't need to suffer. The only suffering is the suffering you put, on, put onto yourself, but that can be a good suffering. The suffering like a workout. Suffering is not necessarily bad. You can be, you know, that's the challenge between pain and pleasure. You can be in pain of stretching, right? You're working hard. You're breaking your mind to understand something to 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 grow and to you know college all that stuff so you're breaking your mind so it's 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 painful but it comes with because it's meaningful you do it you know it's from that you're going to be smarter from that you're going to become greater from that you're going to become someone else that you want to be so there is pleasure in the pain uh, and there's a sense of of goodness now hashem says six days i want you to work i want to do melacha i want you to work on yourself 39 works on Shabbat, I don't want you to do any of those. On Shabbat, I want you to enjoy and see what you have worked on. I want you to reflect. Have I really worked hard? Am I, am I still lazy? This is the great, the most destructive trait, <coughs> in my opinion, beside anger, because anger, anger destroys everything, uh, is really laziness. 
Because laziness is disconnecting from Judaism. Laziness is saying, I'm just going to do what I feel, when, I, when it feels good. Um, and usually laziness is connected to, to sadness. It's a derivative from sadness, as Rachel Vitor says. So that means someone who is truly happy is someone who is constantly doing effort, right, to grow. And that's really how, well, how we have to uh, we'll look at it. If I'm not in the process of, ah, it bothers me, I'm, I'm in pain, it's not comfortable, then I'm, I'm still going to do it, I'm going to fight for it until I get there, then I'm not really religious. I'm not really becoming spiritual. I'm not really getting closer to God. I'm not really working on my midos. I'm not really working on my yetzer. So that's, that, that's really the big secret that I think um, I have, you know, I personally haven't had it clear. And to me, it's much more clear now. Um, and it makes things much easier to understand why suffering in the world. And, and, and when we suffer more than like all of a sudden, we have to ask ourselves, okay, what am I suffering? I'm suffering from shame. I'm suffering from, uh, you know, from... Um, uh, well, I mean, there's, there's so many uh, di different types. You can be suffering from humiliation, from uh, anger, from 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 loss of money, loss of wealth, uh, loss of health. Uh, so, all those things you are supposed to ask yourself: Okay, why why I'm suffering in that area? You're suffering in that area because that's the area that you were supposed to stretch out but you hadn't done it and now so god is giving you the extra pill to accelerate the process the process and that's what happened with the jews in the desert that's what happened with the jews in exile that all the suffering we experience is here to accelerate the process and we know if we can escape most of the suffering if we do the work on our own but if we don't do the work on our own god is going to give the pill and it's going to be a forced delivery that is more painful than if we, you know, we do the delivery with, uh, with you know, learning how to breathe properly and learning how to uh, uh, do all the exercise that the woman can do before um, the birth to get ready and deliver more properly. So, but it requires some work from our, our part, our ishtadlut. This is our imuna. That's, that's our ability to, to do the work on our own. So... Bezat Hashem, we should all be able to pass all the tests to look at our Judaism and our mitzvahs as tools to grow and see how it stretch every part of our life and see how our midos are getting better. Obviously, there's an amazing book, The Messiah Sesharim, The Path of the Just, that helps us do that. And there's many other books, but it's one of my favorite. Um, so we should all make sure that when we do a mitzvah or when we learn Torah, we see what is it helping us expand. How is it helping me go in my comfort zone? Am I six days a week going out of my comfort zone? If not, I'm not really growing. Uh, pain, pain and suffering is not the opposite of happiness, love and pleasure. It actually leads to uh, to it, like we saw from the Zohar. There's no light except uh, what comes out of darkness. There's no good except if it's issued from uh, evil. We're here to transform that evil so that that and again evil is not necessarily bad right in in the sense that i need that evil the clipper the fruit needs the the thing to be protected so i take my animal self my desire that leads me in a desire uh, in a, in negative places in dirty places and i'm saying I'm going to fight you. And it's so comfortable. It's, you, you just want to let go. But the moment you let go, you let evil take over. I'm not going to let go. I'm going to fight as uncomfortable as it is, as, as anti-animal it is, because I just want to let my animal do whatever it wants. Then that that's the right path to take in order to truly be happy and feel fulfilled. And on Shabbat, that's the time where I can relax. So I wish everybody Shabbat Shalom. And may we all be able to transform all our darkness into light.